know, is it surprising to see the result, basically inclusive conclusions? This is uh, basically what the scientific community has been saying uh, throughout, which is that there are two possibilities. Uh, one, uh, a natural spillover from animals to humans, and the second, somehow related to research, and that uh, there wasn't the evidence to establish one or the other. And uh, the, the, the findings are that this remains an open question. And it's a question for scientists in a cooperative way to continue to investigate. The blame game should not be a blame game. Uh, more than a year ago, uh, then uh, President Trump and Secretary of State Pompeo said there's, uh, one said there's enormous evidence uh, that uh, it came from a, a laboratory. Well, they, they didn't have enormous evidence. They were pointing fingers. What we need is uh, objective, uh, science-based, cooperative approach because uh, both hypotheses are, are possible uh, and they should be further pursued, uh, but they should not be pursued in a, a context of blame and senior U.S. officials unfortunately started this by stating things that were not true uh, about the enormous evidence or Trump saying that there was a high degree of confidence that came from the laboratory. Those statements were false, and they set this path to be a blame game rather than a true investigation. Mm -hmm. You know, President Biden has said that, okay, this is not inclus uh, inclusive and we will continue to find, uh, you know, the, the origin, continue to work. And he blamed China for uh, lack of transparency, for lack of cooperation. But from the Chinese side, you know, when you see uh, all your efforts, all your attempt is really to find evidence, that particular evidence against me to prove I'm guilty, how can you expect a cooperation? And furthermore, you know, what's your suggestion for the two countries to work together against this pandemic? Well, there are many areas where uh, we should be working closely together uh, to stop the transmission. China has shown great success in breaking the transmission of the virus, so we should learn from that experience. We should be cooperating on the vaccinations, uh, definitely. We should be cooperating on sharing technologies to improve the vaccinations. And we should be cooperating on the science of <coughs> the disease itself. Uh, there was joint research together by the U.S. and China on SARS-like viruses. And so it's natural that the two governments should be cooperating, not one pointing the finger at the other. But I would say that it is important that that cooperation really take place. This intelligence report says there isn't uh, any enormous evidence or as a uh, uh, as Trump said, a high degree of confidence. They debunked that. Let's make sure uh, what happened and uh, let's investigate the natural spillover hypotheses, but do it together without a blame game. Mm -hmm. Especially to stop this pandemic, we need cooperation between the two governments.